Greetings gamers, I'm Lotus Crane. Welcome to the second episode of my instructional series on Ark Survival Evolved by Wildcard. Um, I apologize for the fact that I haven't updated uh, the channel in a little over two weeks at this point. Uh, I've fallen behind my Ark videos, um, partly due to reasons that aren't completely my fault. Uh, I was going to wrap up an episode about building houses, but then some hooligan uh, raided uh, our castle and I had to repair it. Um, and then the server we're on, which I'm back on right now, uh, actually went offline for about a week. So uh, my tri mates and I, we were all pretty worried and wound up running our own server with the map the center, um, which I'll uh, show you guys at the end of this video. But yeah, um, before we migrate away from this server, let's take a one last look at this pretty epic castle. Well, I mean, epic, but also not entirely practical. So yeah, this took me about, oh, probably close to two weeks of real time. Um, I mean, not continuous, like, eight-hour days. Uh, I, I did other things as well, but um, but yeah, this, this dominated my gaming for about two weeks. As you can see, I have some nice sloped roofs. Um, sloped roofs are aesthetically pleasing, but they're not necessarily that practical. Uh, I mean, you can use them as ramps, and you can land on them, but you can't build anything on them, so if you wanted it to make this more defensible by adding turrets or plant X, then you'd want to go with regular um, ceiling tiles instead, uh, even though they don't look quite as elegant. The idea I had for this castle uh, was for it to be a nice shortcut from the beach down here uh, to the cliff up on top. Ooh, an argent egg. I don't even know why I'm picking that up, considering that I just said we're moving to a different server and a different map, but uh, I don't know, OCD. So yeah, the reason why this turned out not to be the most practical setup, even though um, it is pretty impressive looking inside. Oh, don't mind the weird pipes. Irrigation makes no sense in this game. Uh, it, it, it's, yeah, I, I have no excuse for the fact that geom the geometry and uh, snap points and placements of this game are still really weird. Like, this is, the blue coloration lets you know that water's flowing through. Even though that's clearly an uncapped pipe and it's not spilling out onto the floor, I... I have no idea. Um, but yeah, one of the reasons why this turned out not to be that practical was the distance from the beach to the cliff was actually so high. Um, I built far more floors than we could possibly ever fill with useful stuff. So yeah, I, I didn't need to spend two weeks making this. I could have made a more sensible structure in like less than a week. Oh, right, like I said, some hooligan uh, snuck in through the top, and this should have been another floor of plot boxes with uh, fruits and veggies growing out of them, but that got messed up by the guy who snuck in. The reason he was able to sneak in was, oh, whoops, I even fell off because some of the greenhouse tiles are broken. But yeah, the reason he was able to sneak in was originally not having encountered any trolls on this server before. Uh, there was actually no... Um, hmm. Okay, time for a gun! Ooh, I think I just heard thunder or fireworks. No, it's thunder outdoors in real life. That's why I was startled for a moment. Um, and hopefully it doesn't kick me off recording this video. Um, but yeah, time for a contest. Uh... Whoever can give me the correct um, architectural term for whatever this is, uh, I'm sure someone could just Google or Wikipedia medieval castle designs. Um, I want to say it probably starts with the letter B, but but yeah, this used to not be here. It used to just be straight open access ramp from the roof, and uh, I imagine that's how the troll managed to get in 
and break some stuff and kill some of us in our sleep um, and waste some of our materials um, before being killed by uh, the dinos downstairs and outside the castle. Um, that being said, I, I don't think he actually successfully stole anything. He died before he could. Um, but he did drop some loot, which probably despawned before he got back on. So it was kind of a pain to replace that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so this castle looks kind of nice, but more than half the floors are vacant because honestly, you don't need more than one crafting floor and maybe one bedroom and kitchen floor. Uh, bedroom and kitchen floor is not even actually fully furnished. Uh, I didn't get around to making industrial cookers and refrigerators and whatnot. Um, and then one floor that's primarily for holding smaller animals for providing eggs and poop, because poop is a wonderful thing, which I keep saying, and I will eventually make a poop video for Ark. Alright, so, uh, this is a lovely castle. Oh, one of the reasons why we're moving, uh, besides the fact that we thought this server was offline, it was offline for about a week, um, which is why we decided to rent our own server, but another reason um, is that apparently on the May 30th um, update that's planned for Ark, which uh, that would be about a week from now. Right near this castle is where they're going to implement uh, a snow biome. And the problem with that, um, we're not too afraid of it being cold or there being new predators in this area. The problem is that uh, it's possible, actually really considering how big our castle is, it's probable that there's going to be uh, geometry changes to the terrain around here. Uh, the slope of the hills might change, placement of rocks and uh, other things might change and that might break the base of uh, the castle, which uh, that might cause some of the walls uh, around or the ceilings above those uh, foundations to also fall apart. And uh, that's just really annoying, so so yeah. Having said, check this out. Ooh, what the? Oh, that's a weird colored terror bird. If, I, if it were possible for terror birds to be alphas, I would almost call that an alpha, but it doesn't have a red uh, aura or cloud around it, so it's not. But yeah, um, this has been a great location for us um, for the past uh, month and a half or two months, um, just because it's within easy access of this metal and crystal node, and uh, quite a few of the slips around this mountain also have obsidian deposits. Um, for anyone who wants to take advantage, let's pull up the map. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's around coordinates uh, 30... Hmm, well this mountain is uh, around 33 lat and uh, 77 longitude, but our castle is closer to the beach. So yeah, um, if you're brave enough to try and move here after they implement the snow biome, um, feel free to do so. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show everyone our lovely... castle before we leave the server. Oof, did I just say sir? I don't know where that semi-European accent comes from. Uh, I know I engage in some daytime drinking, but that's still pretty weird. Oh, I'm also a terrible navigator. It's possible that I've just flown in the wrong direction. Yeah, okay. Clearly I've gone the wrong wrong way. I was really excited when they added uh, list resources to the game and a bunch of them spawned in this area. Huh. Weird. What is this? This looks like the busted up remnants of someone's thatch hut. I guess someone tried to be our neighbor before their house was destroyed by some of the wild animals. Um, yeah, that's something I'll address. Thatch shots, you can build them even at really low levels, but you shouldn't plan on staying in one for very long because they'll just be busted up by the more aggressive... Oh, look at this. Okay, this is a bit of a substantial upgrade. It still has a thatch roof, but... Oh, never mind. So, as you can see, the wooden portions are fine. 
but uh, if you leave even a few thatch tiles up, that's an easy way to get through. I guess this guy hasn't been on for a while. But yeah, chain is only as strong as its weakest link, so if you include any thatch pieces in your house, it is going to get busted. I swear, did I go the wrong way? Whoa, there was some of that famous arc lag. Oh, I did totally go the wrong way. Wow, I am a terrible navigator. Wow, this fight's still going on. Come on, Doa Decurious. Curious? Doa Decurious. Wait, did they. Did they mutually kill each other? That guy's dead. Oh, this, this one's just in a defensive, crawled up posture. Okay, well, good for you. Congratulations. You, uh. You are uh, defended. Oh, so cute. Who's a Who's a good what? Who's a good girl? Oh, yep, yeah, you are and you're camera shy. Okay. Well, I mean, that's understandable. You Oh no, oh crap. Well. All right, you want to mess? Let's mess. Aerial combat is a little bit wonky. It's essentially all about who can turn circles around each other. Which, I mean, I guess that's not completely... Um, that's not dissimilar from up until the World 1 era of... Uh, even World War 2 era of uh, aerial dogfighting between fighter pilots. Modern uh, modern aerial, co aerial combat, though, is a little bit boring. It's all about planes that go either really fast or really stealthy and just attempt to launch one to four missiles at each other and then disengage and return to home base or a nearby aircraft carrier. So not terribly exciting. I apologize, it's possible that uh, some of you are getting dizzy watching this. That's fine, I, I'm actually a little bit dizzy myself. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on, let's see. I need to line it up just right. It's possible I can save this. Yeah! Oh, oh, whoops, never mind. Oh, crap. The Doodicarus is uh, too heavy for me to pick up, otherwise I would return it to the Taming Pen. Which, again, I don't really know what, why I'm caring so much, because I'm about to leave the server. Oh, what's going on here? Really? Picking on a Dodo? Alright. Instant justice. What? Wow, this really is just the circle of life here. I don't know if you can see it on your screens, but there's little compies. They totally just ate both the Dodo and Dilphosaurus. Wow, this guy is still following me. Okay. What are you doing here? Alright, follow. Oh, right. 
seconds, and this tree must have respawned. Shrek is clearly strong enough to bust through those trees on his own, but he was silly, so... I'm actually floating above the saddle. Look at this. That's that's some good. Oh, what's the term I'm looking for? Hit detection. Oh, oh wow! This stupid thing. Okay. You want? Know you want to fight here? This stupid thing's gonna regret it in a moment. All right, so let's take one last look. Oh, not the underside of a T-Rex. So yeah, this has been home base for a few months, but it's time for us to move on.